And so I felt that my job as a Vibe magazine journalist, as a reporter, as an interviewer, was to at least... It begins with the ancient tale of one of God's favorite creations, the angel Lucifer. Lucifer was an angel, and he wondered why he wasn't, in fact, the most favorite of all God's creations. Lucifer wanted to be as powerful as God himself. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam recount different but similar legends of Lucifer's cataclysmic fall from God's grace. In Islamic scripture, Shaitan, or Satan, felt too proud to obey God's order to bow before his finest creation, Adam. He says, I'm better than Adam. I'm created from fire and God's spirit, whereas Adam is created from dirt. And it was this pride, this desire to elevate himself to the level of God that resulted in his downfall. Driven by pride, the defiant Satan leads an insurgence against God. Armies of angels do battle in a dreadful heavenly war. Until at last, Satan and his minions are defeated and cast into the pit of hell. In defeat, God's most beloved creature, Lucifer, falls from heaven and becomes the embodiment of evil, Satan. This is one of the most powerful of history's religious stories. Except it's not in the Bible. The fall of Satan comes from ancient legends gathered sometime between the creation of the Old and New Testaments. Always and so I felt man. that my job as a Vibe magazine journalist, as a reporter, as an interviewer, was to at least...